Valentina and Pierre, great movie. I really enjoyed it. How was your first experience with a Spike Lee joint? Mm, Spike Lee joint, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing, it was amazing. It was amazing already when we've been cast for the movie, just, you know, being honored to work with. Just talking to each other, saying, hey, hey Spike did you Lee. get the job? <laughs> <laughs> we say went it again, out. Say it again. <laughs> That's true, it was, it was, yeah. It was a great, great moment, you know. Because uh, we, we get my Spike, yeah, he, we grew up with his movies and with the statements that he did, you know, and so, and, and especially in Italy, he's very much felt as a director. Okay. So already working with him and working in our own country with him and bringing back to life, you know, the history of Italy that has been abandoned was, was great. Uh, I want to speak about history for because you know history is told differently in different places and for America this is kind of a foreign story because we hardly you know ever see black soldiers fighting in war movies. For Italy, would this uh, in in Italy would this story be received as historically correct or would people be like, wow, I didn't know it was like that either? Yeah. Well, it's pretty accurate for what uh, and uh, James Bragg and, uh, and Spike Lee did the best that they could to be accurate. I mean, they've been studying the, the, the thing very well, and uh, they've, they've also asked us to be more accurate on how to speak or to, 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 to keep on searching. So I think that uh, it's kind of perceived as a, a, move, a movie that it just talks about an aspect, an, an episode of, of the war which is not being told mm -hmm. in any other movie since now. There's only a few books or a couple of documentaries talking about that. And uh, I'm really happy that they decided to do that. To right. come to Italy to tell, to tell about the story. Now, th this was a great ensemble cast, and to have people that speak in German on the set and, and, yeah. and Italian on the set, and this to be authentic people, not just yeah. somebody that's playing a German character that's playing Italian. How was working with all of these cultures on, on a set of a movie? Have you ever had an experience like that before where it was a mesh of different, you know, well, I have personally, but knowing that it would end up like being dubbed in mm -hmm. the same yeah, language. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, while I, I guess here it was a way to, to recreate exactly what was the, the way to communicate between these yeah. people and what was right. really happening, just like in the neorealism, uh, Rossellini, and uh, what was the, the, the real experience they had, talking to people they didn't understand. So. If they wanted to relate, to relate to each other by something else, which is one of the miracles, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Now this movie is dealing a lot with war, and um, you know, of, of course, right now America's at war, and, and some of the rest of the world is also at war. Um, what is the the general feeling in Italy regard in regards to the current uh, wars that's going on here? Well, different people think in a different way. I think that. The process of democracy is very useful, but it's a very difficult process. And doing a war, it's not the way, you know, to to go towards democracy because it's really going against the political process. And that the political process is the only way you can, you know, get to democracy. And it's not doing the war. And I think a lot of people in Italy feel that way, um, but not enough, unfortunately. Well, I think that, I mean, all the wars have always been done because of the economy. Even that that one, mm -hmm. even this World War Two, even the first. I mean, it's all about money, and uh, I think that most of the people are aware of this. We all are, and uh, so the perception we might have is the same that you might have. Uh, it's somewhere far from here, as it was, as you were saying before, and uh, and it, it's an issue we we all should think about. I, I hope this movie is going to help us thinking. About it more and more. You come here. Gather the rest, whoever will come, and we'll take them down the mountain. We do not come with you. Why not? Nazis in all villages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, boom. You just sit tight, and it'll be jingle bells real soon. The U.S. Army is sitting right here in front of you. We need army inside house now. Three years we've been waiting. First the British, then the Americans. Italy is tired to wait. All right. Last, last question. Um, this this movie may break stereotypes for you know soldiers in war and everything. Do you think it's also a break stereotypes for Italian roles in America? It seems like you know Italians are always the mobsters in movies here. Do you think oh. this movie gives a little bit more depth to? I the think so. It's just the way Spike you know portrays character, 
I mean, being a woman, he's never portrayed a stereotypical woman. That's why probably he's chosen me, because I'm not the typical Italian woman in that sense. So I think that it, it will, it will, it will, because it's much more, it's a complex movie, it's a movie about human beings, it's not a movie about Italians or German people. It's an epic movie in that sense, too, that it's not only about war, it's about a lot of things. And first of all, it's belief in humankind, that the only, that the humankind can change the world. Okay. Thank you. On December 19th, 1983, Hector Negron killed a man. In his New York home, they found a priceless Italian artifact. What's it doing buried in the bottom of your closet? It was a clue to a mystery that began in World War II. From Spike Lee, the director of Inside Man. I know. I'm the only one left who knows. Miracle at St. Anna, rated R. The mystery arrives in theater September 26th.